Wednesday, February 20th, 2019 Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, DNY, may be the heroine of the Democratic Party's left, but she needs to read more history. Wednesday, February 20th, 2019 Just over a month before Brexit, seven members of the Labour Party in Britain's Parliament have just quit to form a new, independent group. Word is that they could soon be joined by others. Tuesday, February 19th, 2019 Sen. Ron Wyden, Dior, called on the White House Tuesday to release a confidential internal report on the potential need for auto and auto parts tariffs. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 A truck driver who claimed to be hauling strawberries aboard his tractor trailer from Mexico into the U.S. were arrested Saturday after customs officers stationed at a border crossing found nearly $13 million worth of methamphetamine on board. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 An additional array of Western sanctions would deliver new shocks to a Russian economy already reeling from the loss of billions since the country's 2014 invasion of Ukraine, one of Moscow's top economic officials admitted Tuesday. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 President Trump downplayed the March 1 deadline for China to make trade concessions Tuesday, suggesting that the date is not a major factor in talks between the countries. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 An extensive New York Times story published Tuesday purports to take you inside President Trump's two-year war on the investigations encircling him. But save yourself the precious time and read Trump's tweets instead. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 President Trump said Tuesday that he welcomed Sen. Bernie Sanders, I Vermont, into the 2020 presidential race because Sanders for the most part agrees with him on international trade policy. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 Richard Grenell, U.S. Ambassador to Germany, has been tapped to lead a new White House global initiative to encourage the legalization of homosexuality in dozens of nations where it remains a crime to be gay. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 Professor Anne-Marie Brady has known for 25 years how much the People's Republic of China hates professors whose research comes up with conclusions that don't reflect well on the regime. She's faced pressure and harassment. But that pressure has now leveled up to potentially lethal levels, in New Zealand, of all places. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 Cause of Action, an independent non-profit watchdog organization, is trying to force the White House to publicly release a confidential Commerce Department report on whether tariffs on autos and auto parts imports are needed to protect domestic industries. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 On Monday, President Trump made the crisis in Venezuela a central part of a rally in Florida. And yes, to rail against a socialist country where people quite literally don't have enough to eat is a great implicit knock on potential 2020 Democratic challengers who embrace socialism, either in name or in the form of policies such as Medicare for All and free college tuition. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 It sends Russia a rare message of both American anger and resolve. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 Andrew McCabe, the former deputy director of the FBI, said a bipartisan group of lawmakers was briefed on a counterintelligence investigation into President Trump and not one of them objected. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 The hunt is on, acting Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan is discovering firsthand, if he wasn't already well aware, that one of the principal tasks that falls to any defense secretary serving President Trump is turning his pronouncements unpopular in the Pentagon into policy that is more palatable to the military and its supporters. Tuesday, February 19, 2019 Munich, an American destroyer is sailing to the Black Sea to conduct naval exercises with Ukraine to demonstrate solidarity in response to a clash with Russia that has a top U.S. Admiral Furious, 